Election nights come and go. But one thing you could set your watch by was Grimsby returning a Labour MP. It's been that way since 1945. But could it be about to change? Thank you. Uh, firstly, I'd the like current to... incumbent is Melanie On. She says she's confident of retaining the seat at an autumn election, if any. But she's aware of grumbling in the town. I think people are incredibly frustrated with politics and politicians in general. I think that there is a sense that what is happening in London doesn't really reflect the mood in the constituency. Um, I think that some people feel that I've forgotten that 70% of them voted to leave, which I'd just like to say I have not forgotten. Um, and they want to see an end to it. Given that enthusiasm for leave in Grimsby, the Tories here like the look of their chances and of their new leader. I don't know Boris Johnson any more than anybody else uh, is, does on the street, but what I would say is that people feel that he has optimism and whether other people want to believe that he can't be trusted is up to them. But what we see on the television, what we see when he's out campaigning, is positivity and getting Brexit done, which is what we want in Grimsby. Right, OK. As we were filming, a lifelong Labour voter shyly confessed a change of heart. I'm so impressed. Good. Excellent. I've never done that. My family's never done it. I know. Maybe one of those that's going to upset the apple car. Well, you don't have to tell them, do you? Oh, bloody well. <laughs> You've well, been a, a, a Labour supporter most of your life, is that right? I have. So was my father, my grandfather. And do you think you'll vote Labour at this coming election, whenever it is? No way. No way. Is he out on his own? Well, that's not what we found after wearing out some shoe leather in the town centre today. I'm generally a Labour voter, but I'm, dis I'm disappointed with them. I mean, this town voted for Brexit, so, I mean, they're in a mess. I Johnson's doing all he can. My dad was a steel worker, for God's sake, so I've never voted Conservative in my life, but I don't want, I'm, I'm, I'm torn. I don't think I'll be voting Labour, though, now. Uh, did you vote Leave? I did. And do you generally vote Tory or Labour here? How do you vote? Um, depends how things are going, but I must admit at the minute I'll vote Conservative. Definitely. Would you say you trust Boris Johnson? Yes. Yeah, more than Corbyn anyway. No time for any of the governments, mate. They're all for themselves, aren't they? Increasing of the police force, 20,000, I believe it is, over the next three years. It's a good thing. That's what we need. Me, Corbyn. Corbyn? Yeah. Might I ask why? Well, I vote Labour. I vote Labour all my life. I'm staunch Labour. Labour through and through because I stand, I'm a socialist at heart. However, I do think, and I do support Boris Johnson at the moment, in shaking things up, because I do think that Boris Johnson is trying to effect the best deal we can get. Suspending Parliament and removing the Tory whip from household name MPs, these were tactics that would frighten the horses, critics said. But here, at least, Boris Johnson's more forthright approach to solving Brexit seems to be going down rather well. If it comes to a general election about, they're thinking most likely now, end October, early November, do you know how you might vote? I'll be honest, I don't really understand a lot of it. But, right. Um, no, I, I really want to, want to be out and that's it. But Grimsby's also in the crosshairs of the Brexit party and their prospective candidate. He's preparing for a contest unless the UK leaves Europe without the withdrawal agreement. That would be a wonderful thing, be a wonderful thing for the people of Grimsby. We can move on with the rest of our lives. If he doesn't, then as the Brexit party has said, we will be fielding a candidate in every constituency in the country. And I think you've just heard the strength of opinion for genuinely leaving the European Union. It was once so dyed in the wool labour that it was scarcely worthwhile others calling here. But now it seems Eurosceptic Grimsby is weighing up Boris Johnson as the man to deliver a great escape from the EU.